Hello everybody, welcome to the Let's Play Mordheim City of the Damned, I'm your host Amogus. And last episode we had our first two missions, and they, they went fairly well. And with that in mind, I will want to continue. Well, let's just quickly check in if you can actually customize your weapons or anything like that, but you can. Uh, we had done our second day, we had not New high of swords are available. Day. So let's take a look at hired swords. Got ourselves a level 1 hired sword and level 2 hired sword. Um, I think they do come with their gear. However, you can, s you can fill in for yourself how you actually want to spend their points. So this is a hero youngblood level 1. This is a marksman level 2. And that would be very good until you see the price and you're kind of like, yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. My show this one. I uh, I have no clue if this is any good or not, but I took the leather worker and gunsmith uh, veteran skills so to, to hopefully give me some uh, better gear for my guys along the way. Oh, this is a hard mission, and I'm already really struggling with normal missions, so I'm not gonna touch touch this one. We're both uh, a mark for that mission. Oh, I think that that's actually the secondary. Uh, Win. This is average wordstone poor loot. And okay, so we, we deploy around our wagon, but that's that's fine. But I just want to correct something actually. So, um, I did something and I'm not sure if that was the good thing. Uh, he's now down to one. Uh, he needs to wait one more day until he's uh, back in health. I'm not Your completely sure if soldiers that are in the reserve bench if they get These treatment or not. These are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. Well, not really, because they're all but they're all together. The target, if they're actually all, you know, it's bad. Okay. The Let's quickly take a, uh, take a look at where we are. Okay, there is some wordstone over here and some loot. There is some wordstone over here and some loot. But where are these guys gonna come from? They're gonna come from here. Um, I've actually played on this map before because I think there's only a few predetermined uh, maps or something. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, this is all very high elevated ground and. All of this is very low ground, so I think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna send someone quick over to grab these and send everyone else over to this location. Uh, this is the guy with the highest uh, initiative, so let's deploy him over there. Sadly, you can't click on which part you want to go. So you have to wait till the. Uh, you have to cycle through the starting areas until you actually get the spot that you want. Ooh. We got ourselves a cluster. Cluster is 15 points. Seems like there's two more shards in the island. Okay, he's gonna run back to the cart now, deposit it and then grab the weapons. Except that he can't because he's out of movement. That's a shame. The scenery in this game is really disturbing and twisted. When you look at the setting, that's actually pretty much how it should be. So kudos to the game developers for that. They really stuck, uh, stuck close to the lore and how everything should look like. And 
the overall feeling of this place should be. Which is to say, it is a fucking hellhole. Oh, I almost walked past it. Actually, I did walk past it. Oh, that body over there. Oh, you, you see this fleshy, fleshy blob over. I think that bird stone is back there. I know. It lowered my uh, chances to climb, leap, and jump down. But I thought it also decreased my loot, but it actually didn't. Okay, an enemy that we haven't seen yet uh, gets his turn. Okay, there were two guys in our group of heavy armor. I am gonna move them forward and not send them back yet. Because they're slow. Because heavy armor slows you down quite a bit. I think the starting uh, movement for a human gang is uh, six out of top of my head, and it lowers your movement by two. Oh, I can't actually grab these items because I'm in this sphere of influence, and you can do that. Or we're gonna go on an ambush then, so yeah. Essentially, it costs you movement, but you're better protected against melee damage. Which, you know, when you think about it, is actually a, a logical and fair uh, trade off. Y you can actually give your guys skills that they, they don't get the penalty, and in fact, it also gives them a further damage or resistance, so that's quite a good talent or skill to have. A new round has started. Okay, let me check. I think his inventory is full. Yeah. He picked up three of the three items that he can pick up. Try to not walk over the the fleshy things because they're often traps. They can actually give you beneficial stats as well, but the chance that they give you something uh, malignant is, I think, higher. Now to the left, you can see that 5 of 19 uh, bits have been taken. 6 now. I think we have picked up 3 or 4. Actually, don't call. The, the, this guy that we're watching now has 3, but I think I also picked uh, something up with the other guy. But 7 now. So we know that they picked up. Three bits. Yeah, another fragment. So that's three fragments. Okay, what are the effects? No. Just the words on corruption. Just uh, the penalty to leave. Okay. I don't think we've seen any enemies yet. And there are, I think, again, sisters of Tumor. Some so we didn't change too much about our gear setup, actually. Let's keep an eye on the map, see if we see anything popping up. Uh, nothing, though. Actually, just grab these uh, these shards with this guy. We got a fragment of shard. Okay, and we're gonna check where we want to go. For the time being, we're not gonna go in with them because. Our, our guys are iso too much isolated at the moment. Uh, choose this one. Alright. He has to uh, loot the body. He did loot the body. Actually, I don't remember. There she is. Have we armor and a spear? So, no, we definitely did not lose her yet. Because I think it's a she. Who else we got your body from? Oh, the 
sisters of Sigma have a uh, if you're going to use gaming terms, they have a high alpha with low DPS. It's essentially they uh, they can hit hard, but it's not often that they can uh, can hit more than one time. And often when they can, heavy weapons ha have their drawbacks in this game. They uh, they lower your. I think they have innate a chance to be uh, to be dodged. A okay. new round has started. A, 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 on the flip side, they can't push through parry and stuff like that, so it's it, it's pros and cons. But uh, the, uh, every hit after the first that you do with uh, these heavy weapons is starring, costs more points. So I think the first hits two two action points. That's the the, the red points. I think the blue points that you use for moving. I think strategic points are kind of not really that good in the. Uh, Remembering the uh, the exact wording, but the bottom bottom line is that while you do more damage, it's very hard to actually get more attacks with these weapons than it is compared to with one-handers or two one-handers, etc. Et actually, most of the words on the map is having red been clean. Where do we still? Get? That one, two, three, four, five, and this one, two. Okay, that's that, that means that one of those piles has been picked up by the enemy because they ah, we got a trap. Sell us corruption. Let's see what those what does it do. Plus 15 initiative. So in this case, it's actually a benefit, not a drawback. It means the, that he gets to do his turn then. Really. I found the whole one cr golden crown. We're gonna set up an ambush over here. I think uh, at this time uh, we're, we're gonna make him wait until the rest of the warband catches up. Because if he's if he gets out of action now, it's gonna take a lot of turns for my guys to get to him. And if he needs help, it's gonna take a fucking forever to get there. And that's not gonna end well. That's not gonna end well. They love Warhammers. They really love how they look. Uh, and he still has to deposit stuff in the cards. I actually don't know how much stuff you can actually stuff in that uh, in the card. I actually never got it to be, you know, full. Then again, I never got my warband past level three because then, <laughs> honestly, st things just started hitting the fan left, right, and center. It did, did though, uh, give me a good incentive to you know look a little bit more about the game mechanics exactly work. So a new round has started. So in, in that sense, it did, uh, it did do something. It's just that uh, <laughs> it can sometimes be very aggravating. Yeah, you actually got a. I'm gonna use the delay action. I don't know if I want to use his turn yet. And there we. I think we got ourselves our first. Uh, in this case, uh, my captain is lucky that my uh, my warrior here is standing by to uh, to help him out. Cause if I had. If I had done, and if I had un ambushed him myself, I think he would probably have uh, charged that. Yeah. Where the hell is he? Oh, I see where he is. Here we go. Good. I don't have any action points to move forward. Forward, so I can. But if I if I could, I would have moved him towards the left to shield that uh, point of entry. Because uh, these guys are already blocking. Ah, there we go. 
see if we can get a charge in. I don't think so, because the, the the spot where you would need to go is too small. Okay, I think this is their leader, actually. These are witch hunters, they're not uh, such a little sigma. send him in the wrong direction. I did in fact send him in the wrong direction. Well, that sucks. It's actually a dead end even. So he has to spend another turn. Uh, actually this this was a waste of a turn. I, I moved him further than I further from the point where I actually wanted him to be. I do still got some troubles with uh, reading uh, the maps. Fortunately. Oh, that was a nice hit. Where is that? A new round has started. Yeah, for this guy, if I move a little bit to the right, he charges me. Oh, actually. I'm just gonna start stay put here. If he wants to come at me, that's fine. I'll ambush him. Okay, the first one would have hit, and the second one would also hit. This guy would have been down. He has to do all, all own checks, and in this case, he passes. So I parry. Do I get a counter attack as well? Yep. And there we go. Get down on the floor, sir. I don't know if it's gonna work, but ah, fuck, he's backing up. Is that the same guy? I don't know actually. But uh, this should be a quick way to find out, though. Oh, it's not by looking at the map because it's really hard to see. But we have to loot, quickly loot this uh, leader of theirs. See if he has anything worth uh, nothing. And then try to circle this guy. I kind of fucked up with this guy. Okay, now we have another one. I think he had to choose. Yeah. I'm not sure why you only got one attack. But A new round. Oh, because that started. wasn't my captain. I thought it was my captain. This guy is still around the corner. So I'm just gonna prevent him from joining the fight. Okay, uh, I don't think there's any way I can jam, jam my captain in here, so let's loot this. We have three fragments. One gold crown is really not much of anything. So. 
and I have given this guy a backup bomb. but it won't let me. So I'm just gonna go on Overwatch. Okay, that's one. That's okay, he missed. Shame, what happens? Uh, actually, his chance of dodge is double his chance of parry, so we're gonna obviously dodge. I did miss with the short attack, that pistol attack. Wait, <laughs> he failed to parry. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's spreading the damage around. I think that's actually a better scenario for me than I designed. Just keeping these two busy. Anyone who over commits at this corner is at its advantage. <laughs> and the over oh, that was a nasty, nasty crit. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain because it's awesome for me. But hey, forcing the issue. We should have just a new round has round. started. <laughs> Holy crap, he's almost dead already. Nice. This hits, he should be. No, just not. Not just yet. Almost. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. Hmm. He should have done it all alone, Jack. I don't think I've, s I've seen him say that he did it. See if I can shoot him. Really can't shoot him because I should be able to shoot him. Yeah, what? Wait, I, I saw shoot someone. Okay, the captain <laughs> steals the kill. <laughs> allows you to view hidden enemies or traps and, stuff and the like. Oh, th the guy is actually running around the corner. I'm not sure why the, uh, am the uh, ambush stance was... Oh, because he's just outside of range. Well, that's interesting. So we're just going to wait for you, buddy. Yeah. We're just gonna wait for you. A new round has started. Okay, we'll quickly loot him. Oh, we actually have nothing on him all to, to loot. Objective completed. What? Objectives updated. Oh, we actually had to, to uh, grab his, uh, his token. Where is the other one? One is Aldremus of the Soul Fire. That's the guy where, that were whose teeth were kicking in over there. Actually, we can trap this guy. It doesn't matter which direction he walks, he gets attacked. <laughs> right, I will quickly grab his, uh, his token of Sigma. Shield and sword. I'm not too objective completed. I don't really care too much about the bow. And the enemy's routed. 
That was an excellent mission. Holy shit. And for rewards we got ourselves... Well, Mace is not really interesting. But a blue quality amulet and blue, um, blue quality consumable Bugsman's Ale. I don't really know what they do. But, uh, we secured 55 uh, Wordstone. When the Baron hears how you decimated the enemy, so I think that he will be as pleased as a halfling in a pie shop. We actually already he got enough. Even send you a bit of gold nice. by way of gratitude. Task completed. Yeah, that thing Remarkable. Thing. thing about tasks completed and stuff that is for uh, the, that veteran system. So our leader is leveled up. You get a physical and mental attachment, then you gain two skill points. Remarkable. Nice. Always very nice. What do we got over here? We got ourselves. He's also level one. Can a physical mount on a physical? Can two physical? Uh, Fantastic. I think everyone's level one at the moment. Oh, he's our most valuable warrior. Most valuable warrior. Wasn't he the one that was constantly standing at the corner? Well, actually, yes. He kind of kept kept an entire flank protected on his own so I would say that he's actually our most vital warrior this is the guy that I sent on a merry goose chase your right. warband is getting stronger yes it is we got ourselves our first henchman slot so we've got one cluster three shards seven fragments heavy armor is pretty good we got ourselves some, some good loot. So we, we paid everyone their wage. Um, let's level up. I want at least leadership 10 to begin with. Gives you 60% to resist uh, all alone, 50% terror, and 50% fear. That's, that's nice. I think you're, you're the leader of your, your group also determines for everyone else if you uh, pass your route test or not. So it's beneficial to have. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Essentially, all of these things they increase your rating by one, so that's not something you need to look at. Uh, melee resistance is basically the percentage of incoming damage that you're absorbing, so this would make him more tanky. Also increases dodge chance, but he's wearing armor and the like, so th that's that's really not uh, the stat we're going to look for. Increased chance to pass climb, leap, and jump to, uh, jump down test by 3%. That on the other hand is something we do really need because because of his armor, his chance to do that uh, decreases. But this essentially gives you health range. To, uh, this will make him more durable. This makes him more, do more damage and bypass enemies very chance. And every three points actually also increases your carry capacity. For the time being, I'm gonna put points in strength. I love how uh, last episode I was talking about that I don't wanna go too deep into the, the mechanics and stuff like that. And <laughs> now I'm doing exactly that. <laughs> If I want to focus on toughness with him or not, might be beneficial. In that case, I probably am better suited to gain agility because agility gave you melee resistance, not toughness. Also has two things. Two uh, stats that he can increase. Uh, guys, focusing on two one-handers. Focus really heavily on dodge chance. To me. So we're gonna increase the dodge chance. Uh, I think it's beneficial to put early on put some points in leadership. So if they have to do all alone tests or or stuff like that, then they're not. That's super likely uh, to instantly run. I mean, it can still happen, but... Yeah. 
Let's reduce the chance when we can. Uh, weapon skill increases the jam or increases your hit chance, etc. Et 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 uh, was this the guy with the injuries? No, he doesn't. He does in fact not have an injury. Uh, this guy, I just want him to have a huge ass. Want him to be a damage dealer, so we're gonna put points in strength, and it has the added benefit of also allowing us to uh, carry more items. Alertness initiative. I do think an, an initiative is important for this guy, considering he's he is no armor whatsoever. He's, however, our young blood, right? He's uh, basically our backup here. Backup leader, so let's put some points in leadership. And I think there was everyone. Oh, no, there wasn't everyone. Um, his initiative is quite low, but I don't think that comes from armor. Well, actually, it does come from armor. He, he loses 10 points of initiative from his armor. So, let's counter that a little bit by also giving him fire alerts. Also makes him more resistant to range attacks, which suits well with his heavy armor. Alright. And I think that's uh, all the leveling up done. Oh, that was a lot longer mission than, uh, than the previous one. So uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. My name's Maurice. I'll see you guys next time.